Hi, welcome to episode 227 of your favorite daily podcast, A Couple of Things, a podcast about things. Today, I want to talk about something that has been on my mind for a couple of days now. And it's about how one thing always leads to another thing. So, I've been watching Monk again. It used to be one of my favorite TV shows. And then, I don't know what happened. And then I saw that it was on Netflix. And I was like, oh, cool. I should watch it again because I really, really enjoyed it. And anyway, so I've been watching Monk. And something that I noticed is, um, oh, for those who don't know, Monk is a TV show about this guy who is a police detective. He has a couple of disorders, anxiety, obsessive, compulsive, and a lot of these things. But he's a really good detective and he's always solving the case. And... um. Yeah, usually murders that are the that's usually the case. <laughs> usually a murder case. And I just noticed in some of the more recent episodes that we've been watching, especially, how something one crime always leads to another crime. Right? Somebody forges something, somebody finds out, then they kill the person and then so on and so forth and so forth. Somebody kills somebody, somebody finds out, then they try to kill the other person who found out that they killed somebody in the first place, and then it just goes on and on and so on and so forth like one crime always leads to another crime usually a murder is involved or multiple murders and it just got me thinking about how sin begets sin literally and you do one thing you try to hide it you try to cover it and then that leads you to doing something else that is also equally wrong that you should not be doing in the first place and if you go back to the very beginning of it all adam and eve one sin disobeying what god told them to do or not do, doing the opposite of what god, god told them to do let's run that sin blatantly lying to god and let the whole of all the problems that we have as humanity cain first sin excessive unnecessary anger led to what murder which led to also lying to god and that's just at the beginning before we even get deeper let's go to our favorite example david first sin first sin he was not doing he was he was not working when he was supposed to have been working he was in the bible puts it as at the time where kings go to war david was just dead chilling not doing his work first sin second sin rape third sin to cover up the rape murder and so on it went and the problem is always, I mean, doing the wrong thing in the first place is the problem. But then the problem is trying to cover up that first wrong thing that has been done. And I've been thinking a lot about James 5, 16. It comes to my mind often, confessing your sins to one another. So the verse goes, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. And I guess that this is where the idea of Catholic confession comes from. I don't know, I'm not Catholic, but I'm assuming that this is the basis of that. And before, I used to like question is that I didn't really get it. But the more I have been pondering on, on this whole thing, like this particular verse, watching Monk, looking at the examples from the Bible, I understand it better and I think it's very, very important to have people that you can, even the quote-unquote little sins like lying, you can confess that to someone. Um, yeah. If you also, another thing that you can think about is like um, people wanting to take revenge because that's also something that you see often in um, in Monk, right? And it's not just like the 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 sin besets begetting sin thing is not always like you yourself alone it also can impact other people around you right so somebody does something to somebody and then next person tries to get revenge on that then kills that person as well again just an endless cycle of sin begetting sin and the first thing that stops it in its track is literally confession like if you admit the thing like for example the person that killed one person if they just admitted to it, they would not have had to kill three more people to hide the fact that they killed one person. And David talks about it in Psalms. They're the Psalms are called the Confession Psalms, which is where David is talking about his sin and repentance and everything. Psalm 32 verses 3 to 5. I really like this scripture. 
and it says when i kept silence my bones became brittle from my groaning all day long for day and night your hand was heavy upon me my strength was drained as in the summer heat then i acknowledged my sin to you and did not hide my iniquity and i said i will confess my transgressions to the lord and you forgive the guilt of my sin and i find that very very instructive for me as a christian and just on the, and also the the verse from james just realizing that sin eats you up from the inside and not just eats you up it also impacts other people it impacts you it impacts your behavior and the only thing that stops that cycle the only thing that can break it off is just turning to god in repentance and god has given us multiple approaches and multiple ways to do this like he has shown us through scripture how we can do this basically and we can see that the only thing that comes out of confession is relief the whole point of this episode to summarize is that sin begets sin and begets sin and begets sin and the only way to stop it is one jesus and confession repentance and all of those things um so yeah that's for today thank you for listening bye Also, ask me questions. Submit a question. Submit a question. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you for listening to today's episode of A Couple of Things. If there was anything you found interesting or insightful or you enjoyed the episode, please do share to someone or multiple people. Like, leave a comment, and definitely do subscribe and all the nice things. Bye.